Casey Ross filling in for Dana Hutchings tonight. Cycling is an extremely popular recreational sport here in Victoria, but uh, high-level, elite-level racing, not so much. Now, the big race of the season was forced to cancel last season due to a lack of sponsorship, but this year it's back, featuring a local boy who's made the big time. And Hejdal makes the first attack. The 28-year-old Ryder Hejdal, the Canadian. Ryder Hejdal is a superstar. And it's going to be Hejdal. It looks like unchallenged from Garcia. If you look at Ryder's accomplishments, He's like what Steve Nash is to basketball. He's a professional cyclist, the best in Canada, ranked a phenomenal 16th in the world. Hejadal getting his first Grand Tour stage win out of six attempts. We have not had a person do as well as Ryder for over 20 years. Uh, Steve Bauer was the last Canadian to, to be placing top 10 in the world. Hejadal right alongside here. Ryder Hejadal is a superstar, but he sure doesn't act like one. I've been doing it for so long and I guess they don't really see it as, you know, being something to make a big deal about. Hedgedal is back here at home on Vancouver Island after a huge race in the Netherlands, a second place finish in the Amstel Gold Race in Holland, where there's a bit more hype surrounding the sport. It's more ingrained in the culture uh, when you have races that have been happening for 40, 50, 60, 90, 100 years. Hegedal became a household name in Canada by being the first Canadian in 20 years to compete in the Tour de France. In his first appearance in 2008, he sacrificed a potential stage victory to advance a teammate. In 2009, he finished in the top 50. He's back on home turf to compete in the Victoria version of the Tour de France, the Robert W. Cameron Cycling Series, back this year after the poor economy and lack of sponsorship forced its cancellation in 2009. We're really honored to have Ryder uh, participate. He will be doing the, uh, the Pro City Bear Mountain Hill Climb on May the 28th, and then he's going to be riding with the kids on May the 30th as part of the Timbits uh, Challenge. This event's nothing new for the local boy who's in his 12th year as a pro. Grew up in the Highlands, riding around, you know, to, to get anywhere. You, you had to get on your bike and, and get there, and, you know, that was just uh, what I did growing up. And, uh, you know, just progressed and progressed. The fact that Ryder is so... Uh, down to earth and so close to his roots, it makes it really easy for him to make that connection with the community and with the youth. So uh, we're really grateful for that. Down to earth or downright modest, Hejdal hopes his efforts on the bike in Victoria, in Canada and internationally prove inspiring. And he doesn't have any plans to flatten those tires just yet. I turned 30 in December, you know, by no means am I uh, a young guy anymore on the circuit, but there's still uh, a lot of good years. Uh, to perform and, and continue where I'm at now, so it's a nice place. The Robert W. Cameron Racing Series goes May 28th to 30th, and we've seen some pretty spectacular crashes over the years in wet and rainy conditions on the bike, and sadly every time it rains there are some pretty nasty traffic crashes as well. Well, you can't tell Mother Nature